Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and I'm up in the mountains of Alaska and the weather is trying to kill me. I got hit with a serious winter snowstorm in the middle of September and I'm having to seek shelter in a survival cabin to stay warm. I'm cold and I'm wet, but I'm having quite the adventure. Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The bad news is that it's cold and wet and it's probably gonna dump snow on me tonight. The good news is I've got the trail all to myself. So since I'm all by my lonesome, I'm gonna turn on my tracking on my Garmin InReach Mini so my wife knows where I am. All right, first mile. Now I've got a really good chance of seeing some ptarmigan or grouse on the road. I love to hunt and eat those, but I ended up not bringing my gun just because it was a lot of extra weight. You know, the surefire way to see birds is to not bring your gun. <laughs> uh, trail is starting to get narrow and mucky. Check these out. This is mountain ash. So this is mountain ash or roan. Never eaten these before. Some people say that they're good. Some people say they're poisonous best information I can find is that the flesh is edible but the seeds will give you some discomfort. Mountain ash is really common in this part of Alaska and it's a berry you can find pretty late in the season. This right here is a willow. In the winter time willow is the primary food source for moose, ptarmigan, and hares. It also has some medicinal properties. The greenish yellow inner bark of a willow has aspirin in it. It tastes just like biting into an aspirin pill. But it's obviously not as potent as an aspirin pill, so you'd have to chew a lot of it to get the same dose. But it's a pretty wretched way to get pain relief. Uh oh, look at this. That, my friends, is snow. Oh boy, winter is coming. All right, two miles down. I'm just barely starting to get that aspirin taste out of my mouth. <laughs> Mile number three. My pants are getting wet. I can start to feel it soak through right there. I'm breaking the main rule of big boy survival. Don't wet your pants. Look at that water. That is so clear. Gorgeous. There's mile number four. Check out this beaver pond. This is the beaver den, it's hollow inside. And there's usually like a little hole down in there where the beaver comes up underwater and then he can hang out inside. This right here is the beaver's food pile. These are all willows that he's gnawed off and stored in front of his house for winter time. When ice covers the pond, he'll go down underneath the ice and grab food from underneath the ice and bring it into his den. See this little slide right here? Or he scoots back and forth. You can see this entire wall of mud. That was all made by a beaver. That's the beaver. Sorry about that. Gotta watch my language. I wanna keep this family friendly. Seeing more and more snow. Slowly gaining elevation. Mile number five. Look at this. It's a watermelon berry. Mm. It's rare to find watermelon berries in the fall. They're usually gone by the end of the summer. Man, it's 33 degrees and raining out here. I don't understand why I'm not seeing anybody else on this trail. Oh, geez. Just hit the six mile mark. Well, I got some blueberries. There's a bunch of crowberries. Some of them are kind of red. It's been such a cold, wet year, the berries aren't ripening properly. <laughs> They're not ripe yet. It's too bad, because there's a ton of them. Oh, my fingers are getting numb. I brought a pair of gloves with me, but I don't want them getting soaked on my first day. All right, just did seven miles. Now for the hard part. I gotta climb that thing. Whew. Well, it's starting to properly snow on me. My hands are so cold right now. 
need a little snack break. All right, we just completed eight miles. This is where I gotta be really careful. My muscles are tired, I'm fatigued, and everything is slippery. I just gotta take it nice and slow. Unfortunately, the path is getting covered up with snow and that's not making my life easier. The snow is completely covered up the path, but that's okay, I know where I'm going. Just need to follow this little stream. The headwaters of this stream are in a saddle that'll get me over this mountain. Oh, my battery just died. My hands are so cold I had to use my teeth to get it out. This is getting a bit much. I need to find some shelter. My hands get too cold. I can't light my stove or set up my tent. You know, do all those real important things. Oh, there's a ptarmigan right there. Now, that's a rock ptarmigan as opposed to a willow ptarmigan. The rock ptarmigan live up here in the rocky parts of the mountains. They're a little smaller and they make a different sound. Look, there's a ptarmigan right there. <laughs> I knew I should have brought the 22. <sighs> Having to pick my way through these boulders is taking so much time. I gotta be careful I don't fall down. Oh, I am exhausted. My limbs are numb. It's slick. It's getting dark. It's really easy for me to take a bad fall here. I've got to be careful. Oh, I finally get to go downhill a little bit. Oh, look at that. There's a cabin. Oh, how do I get down there? I've never been so glad to see shelter. It's just in the nick of time. Sun is gonna set here in less than an hour. Slow is fast, fast is slow. That one hurt a little bit. Oh, it has got an outhouse. Oh my goodness. How do you get inside? Oh, oh I'm so cold. Oh, I am so cold. So cold, I had to use my teeth to undo the buckle from my backpack. I need to get dry immediately. This is a mountaineering cabin. It's a shelter from the storms for people who are exploring the mountains here in Alaska. It was built by volunteers from the Mountaineering Club of Alaska. Just a whole bunch of zavods and ends, equipment. Whole bunch of the tools in there. In here, got a little table and chairs, mountaineering books and a map, poker chips and decks of cards, trivia suit, little kitchen area, some pots and pans. Oh, there's a, just a little bit of fuel in there. Oh, that's a full can. <laughs> Don't pee in the outhouse. Got it. There's a little ladder here in the loft. Oh. Oh, look, there's a little library there. A little loft to sleep in. Nice. Got some old mats and stuff. I am so cold. I think I'm going to bust out my sleeping bag and get it set up in the loft. Hop inside for a little bit. Well, I'm glad I kept my gloves dry, but I think it's time to use them. I can't even get my fingers in those. Oh.
Got these adhesive body warmers. Gonna use these. Oh. Oh. Man, I didn't think I was that cold. But yeah, I get in here, I'm just freezing. When I was packing for this trip, I had a nice little bag of hot chocolate and herbal teas. I was gonna bring that along. And uh, I think I forgot it, because it's not in my bag. So I just got a little hot water and honey in a cup and I'm gonna drink that, because I am so cold. Yep, that's good enough. I found my bag of hot chocolate, yay! Oh. Oh, my bag is soaked. Let's see how bad it is. Oh, geez. Oh. oh, yeah, my bag is pretty wet. I hate the rain. Do, 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 do. I hate it. Do, 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 do. Hot water bottles in here. Okay. Got some stretchy pants on. Got these down booties. They are wonderful. I feel like I'm starting to not die. I'm wearing every bit of dry clothing that I have and I've got two water bottles in here and I'm snuggled up in my sleeping bag. I'm super hungry and I want to cook some dinner, but I'm just gonna sit in this bag until I feel warm. Once my body feels nice and warm, then I'll go make dinner. I'm gonna, gonna eat a little snack while I sit here and warm up. <laughs> I got some smoked alligator gar from our trip to Louisiana. Mm. Got some dates. Well, it took a while, but I'm feeling warm again. My base layers and underwear are still pretty wet, but it's warm. <laughs> that, that's a lot better. But I think I need to make some dinner. It is getting really late. Oh, it is cold in here. Oh. All right, we're gonna make some quesadillas. Oh, it feels so much better when your fingers work. Pork chili verde, we're gonna stuff inside. Okay, I smell you. I forgot to bring a plate, but I found this one. <laughs> oh, dang it. Just dropped my knife and busted the tip off it. Wow, I really like this knife. This is stuck together. Ooh. That's good. Got a little can of salsa here. Mm. That's good. Roast a little marshmallow here. Got a little chocolate sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that hits the spot. It's gonna get well below freezing tonight.
Mm. Hiked about nine and a half miles today and climbed 3,600 feet in elevation. So we are we are way up in the mountains. Oh, my pole prop and the door closed so the wind doesn't open it. But look at that. There is a proper pile of snow out there. We got close to a foot on the ground. And we could get a lot more snow tonight. We're gonna reheat this bottle too. I'm going to bed with pipe and hot bottles. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind a little bit of hot chocolate too with marshmallow. actually seems to be drying me out pretty good. I feel a low dryer just since I put this hot water bottle under my clothes. Mint hot chocolate, that is good stuff. Mm. Oh, that was good. I got my clothes hung up and I'm hoping they'll dry a little bit before tomorrow morning. No, I'm not holding out a lot of hope. I think I'm gonna go hop into bed. No sense in running around here in my stretchy pants. Oh, I can't tell you how much I've warmed up just by being drier. Oh, and having a little food in me doesn't hurt either. All right, it's late and I'm exhausted. I'm going to see you guys in the morning. Oh, good morning. I didn't sleep particularly well last night, but I was warm. I ended up having to take my jacket off. It got too hot. Something I didn't think it was possible when I went to bed. <laughs> oh. You know, I wouldn't call that dry, but it's not dripping wet. <laughs> oh, they're so cold. Oh, I'm terrified about putting those back on. I think there's a shutter on that window. If I go outside, I could open it up. Look at this valley. Oh, that's where we came down last night. We've got this board all covered in nails. That's to keep bears out. Bears get real curious. Man, I, I really need to use the bathroom. I think I better go check out the outhouse. Many of these cabins are maintained by the Mountaineering Club of Alaska. They don't require any reservations or fees. They just ask that you be a dues paying member or if you get stuck in the weather and it's an emergency, you're more than welcome to use them too. But they're first come, first serve, and they can be quite popular in the summertime when the weather's good. If you guys want to learn more about these cabins or donate to the Mountaineering Club of Alaska, I'll put a link in the video description below. Let's see if we got a little more sunlight in here. Ah, oh, it's a little nicer. We can admire that view a little bit now. All right, I got some steel cut oats here. I'm gonna make some good oatmeal. Oh. All righty. Good hearty oatmeal with butter and brown sugar. It's hard to beat. Oh, it feels good to have hot food in me. up another hot water bottle. This one is going to go to try to dry out my pants. Well darn it, I think that's actually working. Oh, You know it's nice to just sit here and not be wet and cold. <laughs> oh.
I'm really trying to think hard about what to do next. Originally, I was planning on spending three days hiking through the mountains, and I was gonna go to the crash site of a B-29 bomber. Last summer, I did a two-day hike to that crash site, and it was really cool, and I've wanted to go back ever since. But to get there, you've got to go over two glaciers and around this mountain. And there's a big problem. Let me show you. If I wanna go to the bomber crash site, I've got to climb two and a half thousand vertical feet up over that saddle. And there's a foot of ice and snow on those rocks. And it's been snowing on and off all morning. So there's a really good chance I could get caught in another snowstorm. The weather's definitely been a lot worse than I anticipated on this trip. Man, I was so cold yesterday. I really feel like I pressed my luck a little bit more than I like to do. And I'm thinking I just need to head back home. And I'm about 80% the way through my fuel. I have just barely enough fuel to cook dinner tonight. That means no hot water bottles, no hot drinks, you know, and that's gonna be really rough if I'm wet again. So I'm thinking the smart move is to hike the nine and a half miles back through the snow. And if you guys wanna see the crash site and those other survival huts, I'll put a link to my video from last summer in the video description below. But I think I need to start packing up and getting my gear ready. Uh, you know, hot sports drink ain't bad. Ooh. Pants are soaking wet pretty much everywhere except for where the bottles were. <laughs> uh. It's been a fun but challenging trip so far, but I think it's time to call it. Let's, we gotta lock this place up. Make sure we put my snow gaiters on. These Burton snow pants have built-in snow gaiters. I'd have two pounds of snow in each shoe if it wasn't for those snow gaiters. You know, this place is beautiful when it's not trying to kill you. There's some ptarmigan tracks right there. Must be pretty fresh because it was snowing this morning. Look at this. It's a snow spider. Now I know spiders can crawl into my mouth while I'm sleeping in a snow cave. There's something to be afraid of in the winter time. I found my trail. This is the stream I was following yesterday. Oh, but look at that. The sun's come out and it is gorgeous. Look at this. Just makes you feel tiny, doesn't it? That sun coming off the snow is bright. Now that I pulled my sunglasses out, I've jinxed it. It's gonna snow on me any minute now. Oh, I lost my sunshine and it's starting to rain properly. I'm glad I got off that mountain. I bet it's snowing like the devil up there. Three miles to go. There you go, one mile. If I hurry up, I might make it to my car before my underwear gets wet. Yay! Oh. Well, keeping with the pattern of this trip, I am soaking wet and freezing cold, but I made it back to the car. And I feel pretty good about my decision to call it early. <laughs> But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, make sure to click subscribe. I'll see you guys next video. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.